Hi, my name's Sebastian Croft. My name's Sarah Hadland. Hello, I'm Terry Deary. I'm Dominic Brigstock, the director. I'm Lee Mapp. And welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. And welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. And welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. Sebastian Croft, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. How are you today? I am very good, thank you. It's been lovely weather, so I'm feeling good. It's very true. Now, we are at the world premiere of Horrible Histories, the movie, Rotten Romans. What can you tell me about your character? So my character is Atty, and um, he's very much the brains and not the brawn. Um, uh, and he gets sent to England as a punishment after um, offending Emperor Nero. And there his problems continue when he then gets captured by a Celtic named Orla. Um, but they kind of form this friendship, and even though they're the opposites, kind of unite, and um, it all works out well in the end. Am I right in understanding that he attempts to sell some horse urine as gladiator sweat? Yes, so this is how he gets into trouble with Nero. Um, he's looking to find a way to buy the latest shoes, um, which are these gladiator trainers, um, or gladiator sandals, I should say. And um, yeah, he basically fills up a little carton of horse weed, pretending it's gladiator sweat, which was a fashionable thing to sell and wear at that time. Absolutely. And what, are your, what were your favourite scenes from filming and your favourite memories? Well, I'd say the whole thing was a very pleasurable experience. I mean, we really became a family during the set and um, working with so many comedy legends was, um, it was really a wonderful experience. But my favourite bits were probably the songs. Um, we filmed the last song in this massive Celtic um, village, which is where schools go to visit. So the whole thing was real working Celtic village. And um, yeah, doing the songs in the blistering sunshine. And also I had a chase scene with um, Orla, who uh, is played by Amelia Jones, where I fall off the back of a car and then have to run. And there were these quad bikes following us with cameras. It was amazing. Fantastic. And were you starstruck at any point? There's an amazing cast, as you said. Well, um, with everyone, I, was, uh, I felt very privileged to be on a set with them and just watching them work was incredible. Um, but I'd say my biggest kind of moment of excitement uh, was actually when uh, Orla, um, well, Amelia Jones um, came on set because we've been best friends uh, for about five years now and we've wanted to do a film together for a long time so getting to finally work together was, um, was a dream come true. It was really great. Amazing. And now you previously worked on Game of Thrones. How does Horrible Histories compare? <laughs> um, well, I'd say there's uh, a similar amount of sword fighting, maybe a little less guts in um, Horrible Histories, much more comedy and um, a lot of poo jokes, which I don't actually think featured in Game of Thrones, which I'm surprised by, but... Uh, Sadly weren't enough. Oh, I know, exactly. Especially with those dragons flying overhead. No, exactly. They missed some great poo jokes there. Now, what can you tell us about what you're working on next? What might we see you and next? Would you return if there's a sequel or if they decide to go to another era in history, perhaps? Um, yeah, so uh, I would love to work with any of the team uh, again. Um, and um, in terms of what I'm doing next, uh, I've got a film that I start in about a week and then another one that I start in September, um, but I can't say much more about them. And then a film I did called I'll Find You is going into film festivals, which should hopefully come to the London Film Festival. And um, uh, another film called Where Is Anne Frank will be starting next, uh, next year, hopefully, in um, at the festivals. And finally, have you got any messages for people watching the Sarah O'Connell show and your fans around the world? Uh, just, I hope, I really hope you guys enjoy the Horrible Histories film. We had an absolute blast making it, so I hope you guys have as much enjoyment watching it. Thank you very much. It was lovely to meet you. Thank you too, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Oh, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Hello, and welcome to the Sarah O'Connell show. Great name, all Sarahs. Fantastic. Thrilled. Sarah, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. This is fantastic news. Now, of course, you start in Horrible Histories, the movie Rotten Raymonds. Can you tell me a bit about your character? Um, I play Irene Iceni. I'm one of Boudicca's uh, team, squad, girl squad. Um, and um, I get to be part of it. There's kind of like a big rock song in the film, and I'm involved in that. Um, I haven't actually seen the film yet, so I'm going on what I can remember from filming last year. But I'm very... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a Miranda fan, I think we have there. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I kind of uh, had a, a, a was wearing um, lots of tabardy kind of linen frocks, sandals, lots of big hair, lots of war paint on. It was fantastic, really good fun. You got a favourite scene or memory from filming? Um, 
reunited with Dave Lamb, who um, is obviously the voice from Come Dine With Me. We worked together years ago on a series called Moving Wallpaper, so it was really lovely to be reunited with him. I think, I think we have a scene with a goat, I seem to remember. I hope that's still in the film. All well, the best films do, yeah. I, I've worked with goats before, actually. We did, a, we did a scene with a goat in Miranda, so it's kind of, it was nice to kind of, yeah, do another goat-based scene. Of course, this is a comedy too. How does it compare to Miranda? Um, well, I actually did Horrible Histories. I was part of the original cast of the Horrible Histories TV series, which I did before Miranda, so it's really exciting to, um, to, uh, to revisit Horrible Histories. I, I love the show, and to be part of the wonderful team with Dominic Brigstock and Caroline Norris again was really, really lovely. Have you got a favourite era of history, somewhere that particularly excites you? I do love the Egyptians, a bit of Cleopatra. Nefertiti, that kind of time. I love the big, the big eye makeup and the big hair. Yeah, and also the fact that the women are a bit powerful then. I like that, yeah. And of course Queen Victoria, who I've played quite a few times, I think, over the years in Horrible Histories. So yeah, definitely Queen Victoria. Can you tell us what you might be working on next, what we can see you in? I'm not allowed to say what I'm doing next, um, but... Um, we won't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> well, we'll have to have you back on the show next time to talk about the mysterious things. Absolutely, definitely. <laughs> so finally, have you got any messages for people watching the Sarah O'Connell show and your fans around the world? Um, I hope you enjoy the film. Go and see Horrible Histories, Rotten Romans, and I hope you enjoy the film. Great, good advice. Thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Thank you. Terry Deary, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell show. How are you today? Um, I'm a bit stressed because my train was late and I thought I'd miss the famous Sarah O'Connell and stuff, but I'm here now, so I'm chilled now. It's a huge relief, we're all here. The universe has brought us together for this interview. Yes, of course. That's, uh, that's just what I thought when I got off the train just on time. You've written over 200 books. I've written 317 now. I've written another 117 books since I read that's incredible. Yeah, it is. Uh, I knocked them out last week when I had a quiet week, you know. So, But no, the, the publicists struggle to keep up with me. It honestly is 317. It's not. I'm very old. It's, it's still incredible. Some people have barely written one book. I know, but I'm mega talented, I suppose. I'm very old. When you first started writing Horrible Histories, did you ever imagine that it would become an animated series, a TV series and a movie? Every author who writes a book thinks it's the best book ever written, so they're surprised when it doesn't become all those things. So it's a great joy to see it, but um, I suppose I thought this is a great idea and I've run with it. It very much is. Now, did you have anything to do with the actual film production itself? Did you go and visit the set or anything? Well, first of all, they gave me the scripts at every stage to comment on, which was very flattering. And, of course, I appear in the movie as a, a victim who is dragged off to be executed. The week after I filmed that, I did the television series where I played Archduke Ferdinand of Austria, and that didn't end well either. I think they're trying to tell me something. Well, have you, well, they keep telling you you get resurrected even if they kill you, which is a good thing. Oh, I never thought of it that way. I thought they were just trying to kill me off and eventually they'd succeed. Oh. Have you got a, a favourite era of history? No, I don't. People ask me that. I'm not a historian. They were all dirty and disgusting, foul food, terrible toilets. The best era was when I grew up in the 1950s. And I told that to a little girl and she said, was that the Middle Ages? My mum tells me a lot about it too. She was born in the 1950s. So, she's a child then. I was born in the 1940s. You know, yeah. And then, do you think you might ever do another horrible histories book? Book or movie? Both. Oh, both. Um, the next horrible histories book is coming out next year, oh, wow. called All at Sea: The Maritime History of Britain. And everybody involved seems to love the idea of doing another movie. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm very much, I mean, the, the show's amazing. I'm very much looking forward to the film and I hope there's many more. I hope you enjoy the film. That's the main thing. The people that matter aren't me. It's people like you and your viewers, I suppose. They will decide, you know, Roman, thumbs up or thumbs down. Not me. A massive thumbs up and also for my YouTube show, of course. Now, um, have you got any tips for people that want to get into writing? Don't bother. No, no. You're either born with the talent or you're not. 
people who aren't, get, find out what you're good at, find out what your talent is, like having a show on YouTube. Might be our talent. If that's your talent, go for it. If you want to be a writer, then you've got to be a writer first. That's very good advice. Now, finally, have you got any messages for people watching the Sarah O'Connell show and your fans around the world? My fans around the world, um, just thank you because if you didn't read my books I couldn't write them and for the Sarah O'Connell show you've obviously got very good taste. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. So first of all Horrible History is the movie Rotten Romans, what is the film about? Um, it's about the amazing struggle between the might of Imperial Rome under Emperor Nero against uh, Celt upstart Boudicca who rebels against the Empire and eventually is defeated at the Battle of Watling Street. But it's also the story of a young Celtic princess called Orla and uh, a, a hapless Roman teenager called Atti who gets sent to Britain by Nero. Exciting. Now the, the TV series had songs that had a kind of sketch style. Do you maintain that for the film? We have songs, uh, as in the television show, but uh, no, we, we, this is a linear narrative uh, in the style of a traditional feature film. But it has comedy elements that are in the f uh, sketch-like, but not sketches, no. Now there's an incredible cast. Who can we expect to see in the film? Uh, you will be seeing Kim Cattrall playing uh, Emperor Nero's mum, Agrippina, who um, killed uh, the previous Emperor, Emperor Claudius, who is played by the iconic Derek Jacobi. Um, <laughs> um, who else is in it? Um, Nick Frost plays Argus, uh, uh, Orla's dad. Um, Warwick Davis is a brilliant cameo as a gladiator trainer. Um, mm, loads of people. Lee, Lee Mack plays a homesick Roman. Uh, and then our two leads are not famous, Amelia Jones and Sebastian Croft, who play Atianola, and they are the centre of the story and the centre of, of the, uh, the rather charming and moving adventure that they go on. Absolutely. Now, the, the, if I understand correctly, the, the books uh, that were based in the Roman era did incredibly well for the Horrible History series. Is that what attracted you to setting the film there, perhaps? Um, we, when we made the television series, we always uh, rooted for the books that had sold best out of the series. So Romans was definitely one of them, along with Egyptians, Tudors, Victorians. But um, no, the thing that attracted us to the Romans the most was the idea that we could have a story that was partly set in Britain, which is where our core audience is, but also has the sunshine and the contrast of being in Rome and, and the splendour of that. So you had the lovely green countryside of Britain uh, contrasting with the heat and dust of, uh, of the Roman Empire. Very exciting. Now, if there was a sequel, is there anywhere that you'd like to go next? Would you like to stay in the Roman Empire or perhaps go somewhere else? I think the one thing I can say for certain is we wouldn't stay in the Roman Empire. The, the story of Nero and Boudicca is, is unique and uh, that was in the way that it told the relationship between the Empire and Britain and I don't think we'd find a story as good as that in the, in, in, in the same era. And anyway, I think it might get boring. Um, I think it, we'll be looking elsewhere. Um, my favourite is, but this is purely personal, is uh, the Stuarts and the Plague and the Great Fire. But there's a, a big lobby for the Victorians. Fantastic. And finally, have you got any messages for people watching the Sarah O'Connell show and, of course, fans of horrible histories? <laughs> Go and see the movie and enjoy it, please. <laughs> very good advice. Thank you. It's lovely to meet you. And I'm looking forward to seeing the film. Thank you very much. Lee Mack, welcome to the Sarah O'Connell Show. How are you today? I'm very well, yes, I'm very well. How are you? Pretty good, actually, thank you very much. All the better for meeting you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, you say that, what if I've got a bad cold and I give it to you? You'd be all the worse for meeting me. That's horrible histories, isn't it? So that's fine. That's true. So if you spread diseases, it'll make it feel like the old days, won't it? I think so, yeah. It sounds like a really bad chatter blind. Do you want me to spread some diseases with you? I can finally say I've gone viral. <laughs> so there's that. That's true. Very true. So you star in Horrible Histories, uh, Rotten Romans. Can you tell me about your character Decimus? Yes, so Decimus Maximus is a uh, centurion and he desperately wants to go home, back to Rome. And he's been posted in Britain, he doesn't want to be here, and just whinges the whole time and desperately wants to get back. So that's, I go with that gag many times. Worked the first time, I thought I'll just stick with that gag. 
Oh, by the way, congratulations on your BAFTA win. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, I, uh, I was, I was BAFTA nominated, and we always lose. So I presumed I was going to lose again, and and I won. So genuinely shocked. I know everyone says that, but when you've lost six on the run, you tend to believe that you're not going to win. <laughs> It's one of my favourite shows and I was rooting for you anyway. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, I like it as well because it's dead easy and a right laugh. And also the three more series of Not Going Out coming out in the next three years. Exciting. Yeah, Not Going Out is going to be doing three more. We've got, uh, we're finally going to get to 100 episodes, which will, which will have been about 17 years of my life. So uh, maybe we'll call it a day after that. Who knows? Hopefully you'll keep going. So it stopped after series three, then it stopped again after eight, I think. and then. Well... Last of the summer wine have left a gap in the market for elderly people's comedy, so maybe I could fill that. I could probably fill it now. I'm 50 now, so. And uh, finally, have you got any messages for people watching the Sarah O'Connell show and your fans around the world? I would just say, uh, you know, keep tuned to the Sarah O'Connell show. Do you see the way I just glanced there? Just a double check. Uh, there was a there was a pause after the O, and not Sarah Connell. Sarah O'Connell. I knew, but I just was double checking. Stay tuned to the Sarah O'Connell show. I know I'm ne I, I'm never untuned to it. It's always on in my house. Emac, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching my horrible histories interviews. Be sure to share, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and leave lots of lovely comments. And I'll see you all again soon for another episode of the Sarah O'Connell show. Bye.